So I'm in here to test the MiFine Jig Smart. Not on the ideal location because I wanted to catch some sea bass. Yeah, I tried, I went there, but nothing was there. But is what we have. I'm trying to catch the Twatcha. They are still here. Yeah, they are still here. In here you can see me retrieving the jig and it has a scale of the shed in it. So definitely they are here. So if you didn't watch the unboxing video of this rod, this is basically the MiFine Jig Smart. Mine it's the 4 to 18 grams. It's the 256 meter version or 8 foot 5 and it's a fast action rod. It only exists in spinnings, they have different size but I cover all that on an unboxing video. And I think it's on. Yeah. Yep, it's on. Come here. Right on the corner of the mouth. Bye. Pretty cool. So me find Big Smart is christened. Uh. I'm also using a me find reel, the Darwin Carbon Pro 2000, but this will not be the one that I will review. I'm just using it because I don't have any other big reels. And it's just a substitute. I will review the 800 size on the creek on the following weeks. It will be the pair for the Mifine Outrange. But this is very very good from what I tested until now yeah and you ask yourself why do I have the 2800 size of this reel when I usually try to reach out and test the most different products that I can yeah I ordered the 800 originally and for some reason Aliexpress mismanaged the order if I and I got this one, one instead so I reached me fine and they solved the problem by sending one to me with I think postage costs it was under two euros so very cool from their part again I do not work for me fine I only tested the nano jig rod for them other than that I pay as you guys for everything I get from them so just a sucker for me fine but again I didn't really bought this rod for review on the channel because I'm an ultra light guy I bought this because you see my friend over there is always trying me to go and try to fish things on the sea and for the sea you need heavier gear and longer rods that's why I got this one you saw me looking at my watch or on other videos adjusting my watch ah, and I get well, this and it's on if this was a professional channel I will put a montage of clips of me adjusting the bracelet on my watch or checking the hours and getting a fish to bite my lure ah and it's off as usual with this sea shed they went away in half the bites that I had no problem handling sea dwellers hopefully it will handle a lot more sea dwellers in the future 
I will probably have some reels to test with this rod, but even with this 2000 size uh, Mifine, it cast pretty far. Actually, I didn't do any over head casts because I was afraid to going on the other side of the river. So 30, 40 meters on that range, pretty, pretty good caster because it's a big rod but either way i will have at least one or two more reels to test on this rod uh, saltwater reels and on the following weeks i'll be receiving a lot of budget oriented stuff so under 20 or close to 20 i even have a sub 5 euro spinning reel small one uh, 500 or 800 size but either way uh, it helps a lot right now. I'm very, very close to get the watch hours to get uh, fully monetized on um, YouTube. It will help a lot if you subscribe and like my videos and maybe watch only if you like, because if you don't like, uh, please like. But either way, I'm very, very close to that target. And... I'll be trying to get more content that will help people with lower budgets. But until then, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.